So right now I feel like Jake Paul's run out of YouTube ideas and gone, ah, fuck it, why don't I cancel myself? Or he's just genuinely brain dead. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, Jake Paul recently came out in an interview saying that the coronavirus was a hoax. I mean, people already dislike this guy. That really isn't going to get anyone else back on your side. So during the interview, he said, it's time for us to open up. Obviously, it's a controversial subject, but it's time for our nation to open up and go back to normal. And he's saying this while the United States currently has 12.9 million COVID cases, which is the highest in the world. And I can't believe that he's saying he wants everything to go back to normal when when the first lockdown started, he was a guy hosting parties, just completely ignoring the rules of lockdown. And now he's bored of doing lockdown, even though he didn't do it in the first place. He said, ah, fuck it. Let's let's just leave. Let's just leave lockdown. We don't we don't need like what's that? What is it? What like what have we got? Two hundred and fifty thousand deaths. And people over the age of maybe sixteen can realise this is the most stupid thing someone could ever say currently. But the problem is his fan base are all about twelve. If Jake Paul is teaching all these children we need to break the rules of lockdown and leave the house and just go back to normal. We'll have all these kids running around catching the virus and they're not going to die from it, but the old people are. The mayor of Calabasas came out saying, they're having this large party, no social distancing, no masks. It's just a big huge disregard for everything that everybody is trying to do to get things back to functioning. But Jake Paul's angry because we can't go back to normal, even though he was the one partying and not being safe. He then also said, it doesn't add up. There's something more behind it that the government's not telling us. And to me, it just sucks because so many kids' lives are being affected by this because we are worried about the 1% who are going to die. I mean, the stuff the government won't tell you, but is he implying that the government is faking the whole coronavirus? Is he implying that the government made the coronavirus for a reason? Why would the government make the coronavirus just to kill the old people and destroy the economy? I mean, we've got tears, we've got Stephen Hawking, and we've got Bill Nye the Science Guy. And then we've just got Jake Paul topping everyone on the intelligence scale once again. He also said, and it sucks, I don't want people to die and nobody wants them to die, but it's the process of life and shit happens. So, I don't know, what does it even mean? He's saying he doesn't want people to die, yet he's having parties and just completely ignoring every single rules. And then when people start to die, he's like, oh, you, uh, shit happens, you know, people die. I mean, what, I mean, what can I do about it? Saying shit happens like it's just like the average flu that people can recover from most likely. Oh, well, shit happens. Uh, people get the virus. People die from it. I mean, what do you, what do you want us to do? Lock down? Well, that's, that's weird. Why would, you, why would you want us to lock down? The guy's just an overall high IQ intellect, and we all knew that. But his intelligence didn't stop there. He then went on to call out Conor McGregor, saying, I am already one of the biggest pay-per-view sellers in boxing, and McGregor is on that list. McGregor is a better shit talker than everyone, except me. Fucking hell, I mean, Jake Paul is renowned for his shit talking. Hey, check. Whoa! He's mad! He's mad! Walmart! Walmart! Oh! He. He's sweating. He's sweating. Take that one, McGregor. McGregor buys his clothes from Walmart. Booyah, McGregor. Yo, your whis your 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 brand of whiskey sucks dick, McGregor. You have a gay you have you have a gay whiskey brand. The guy seems to be just calling out everyone. And I'm worried for him if he genuinely thinks he can beat Conor McGregor and he's also a better shit talker. He's on something. He has to be. That's like me also saying I can rap faster than fucking Eminem. But he wasn't just done with McGregor. Floyd Mayweather, you know, that, you know that guy who's like the, one of the most famous boxers in the world, world renowned. He said he's like 5'4", so he's actually a little kid here. Amazing trash talk. Fucking hell, Jake. Jake, we don't want the guy to kill himself. So, you know, reel in that insult because, oh my God, you called him small. Mayweather's insult was no better. He called them YouTube girls. I mean, wah, you're a girl. You are a gender. How's it make you feel that you're a gender? I mean, unless Jake Paul identifies as an Apache helicopter, I'm pretty sure I'll be fine. Oh wait, does that mean he's calling me a YouTube girl? I'm calling out Floyd Mayweather right now. First round decapitation. But he also wasn't done there. He also just went in on KSI as well. With his amazing trash talk, of course. He's ducking me and he's afraid to fight me. It's apparent. There's other big names than him that want to fight me. Now who are these big names? Maybe Mike Tyson's going to go for another fight after this and fight Jake Paul. Maybe it is Mayweather. Maybe he's fighting Mayweather. Oh, no, wait. It's, it's Austin McBroom, the, the guy from the Ace family. 
and also Logan Paul, the guy KSI beat. I think if if someone wins the match, the, the loser isn't the big. I don't know. I don't. I mean, I know nothing about boxing. Don't get me wrong. I've never had an actual fight. I've only had fights with children, and that's about it. And I always win them, most of the time. But I don't think you can classify Logan Paul as a bigger fight than KSI when KSI beat him. So I don't know. I feel like. He's setting up a new trend of just calling people out again. I mean, that was the thing back in 2017. Everyone just called everyone out. So I'm going to call out... I call out Joe Biden for a boxing match. Joe Biden, listen the frick up. Listen up, Joe Biden. I challenge you to a boxing match. Winner gets to be president. That's damn straight. You listen up carefully. Winner president. I challenge Joe Biden. So right now, Jake Paul just has zero fucks to give, as we can tell. He's going into a boxing fight with Nate Robinson, and I think in like two days... So if he wins that, I mean, he can call out someone else. If he loses, that's fucking embarrassing. I was going to say no hate to Jake Paul, but the guy's off his fucking head on something else. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. The government said you have to subscribe, so you have to do that. And I'll see you in a bit. Bye.